A bunch of girls do it and the shit it looks fun. That's how they do it where we from. Hey. You know it don't start till one. That's how they do it where they from. I'm so faded, no exaggeration. Fast, make you think you're drinking. Yeah. You get to the flow, don't collect that dough. You better hurt a lot because the beat's so cold. Huh? Pop that, pop that, cock, give me low. This another hit, I got an ace in the hole. Boys on my back, player, did you pick that? You got a small stack, player, you can keep that. Huh? I'm a big Mac, make you wanna eat that. Like, mm hmm, mm hmm, yak it to the yak. Yeah. Junk in the trunk, make you pumps in the bump. Girls wanna have fun, make you sticking out the tongue. Uh. <laughs> this bitch like liquid. That's how they do it, where they from. Okay, guys. Um, as you can see, I will speak a little bit about content and uh, how new technology and um, how devices have democratized, revolutionized the way we make, create, consume, and distribute content. Um, this was just an introduction video, so I'll speak about the formats. And as we are a little group here, I would love to be a little bit interactive. So what I suggest, um, I will speak a little bit, and then I open up for questions. If there is someone who wants to interrupt during the presentation, please feel free. I'm fine with that. So, this new beautiful world that I operate within uh, is not only a development of what we have seen previously, I believe it's a revolution. It's a proper paradigm shift across the whole value chain of how you discover a talent, how you create content, how you distribute it, and of course, led by us, or the people who are a little bit younger than us, how we consume it. And that's phenomenal. That's a great, great, great world we operate in. And these people who are leading this, that we all should be aware, are often categorized as millennials. I just call them under 40s now. I used to call them under 34s, but they're actually growing older. They become young professionals, they become families, or parents with children, but the behavior doesn't change. And interesting enough, they are around 60% of the world's population. So it's not an insignificant group of people who are leading this change, right? And also interesting enough, they're super active when it comes to consuming daily videos, much more active than any other uh, demographic uh, that we have ever seen before. And what are they doing? Interesting enough, watching lots of content, both professional video content as a non-linear uh, uh, viewership, but they're also active socially, and being active socially also means engaging and seeing and participating uh, in content. Some people would even say shopping experience are becoming more content-like, and also the way you're browsing and searching is also led more and more uh, by content. What's interesting, of course, and in this context of this week here in Barcelona, it's happening significantly on mobile devices. If you ask the millennials how they watch, on which device they watch daily, it's more or less 100% will tell you they watch it with a mobile device, right? And if you then also look at tablets, etc., it is phenomenal what has changed over the la last uh, uh, few years. So content is, of course, consumed in a high degree from a mobile device. Today, some stats are showing us that more than 50% of all nonlinear video uh, is actually consumed via a mobile device. It's watched on a mobile device. Uh, 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 device that you have in your pocket or you wake up next to, which is phenomenal. 
This is also one of the reasons, right? Technology has enabled all these new platforms to develop, and they're all engaging with end users. They're all asking for content, and lots of those, we're actually watching the content from a mobile device. <clears throat> it also means that the people creating the content are slightly different from the people who used to create the content. And the stars that we are seeing coming up, dominating the stardom and fandom of anything called millennium engagement, are different from the stars that we grew up with. I just have a, a picture here from Variety. And if you look very carefully, you'll see that eight out of the top 10 most influential people right now in Hollywood amongst younger demos are coming from this world that I'm talking about. This new world of content consumed from mobile devices, mainly on new social platforms. Interesting enough, the content they create, the stardom they have achieved is not fake. It's not staged. It's actually super authentic. If you then ask the millennials, you know, how do you take a decision to buy a product? How do you take a decision to get an interest in something? They will say very honestly, oh, it's very influenced by my peer. It's very influenced by authentic interaction with my peers. However, right, my peers are actually these fans that I talked, uh, these stars that I talked about before. Because the way millennials look at stars today are very much their peers. They're their friends. It's not like, I looked at David Beckham, and I knew he was a star that I couldn't reach. Here, we're talking about the same level. So, purchase decisions, as well as any other decisions, these new stars are super influential. Right? I have a lot of examples. This is an example we have used a few times. Some of you might know uh, a guy like PewDiePie or Felix who's probably one of the biggest uh, stars currently uh, in the world, uh, with 40 to 45 million subscribers uh, just on YouTube, but everywhere where he, where he moves. He played a game called Skate 3. It was uh, EA Games that was uh, uh, out of, of, of publishing. As soon as he played that, EA had to republish the game. The demand was so huge, right? When we launched a book with him, it was on a uh, New York uh, Times bestseller uh, book list. When Zoella, last Christmas, uh, or the Christmas before, sorry, launched her book in London, it was the best-selling book ever in the UK that is recorded um, in history. So these people here are super influential among those 58% of the world population that I talked about early days. But because they're consuming content on mobile devices, because they come from a different uh, engagement with their stars, what has happened is that the storytelling and the formats that they're watching and engaging with are very different from what we used to engage with. Very often, our generation look at it and say, what is this? The so-called let's play category, that those of you who have uh, boys in particular at home that are under 20 will know that they're using majority of their uh, uh, entertainment time watching Let's Play category. It's a category that is invented by a few of these people I mentioned before. And really what they do, they take advantage of the gaming world as a platform for create a new genre where they mix humor, pranks, traditional entertainment with gaming. It's highly engaging and people absolutely love it in that demographic. So what I'm trying to tell you is, the new mobile content that is engaging the young demographics is not just taking what we used to on long form and put it into a mobile device, and then there will be high engagement. Forget about that. It is a new storytelling form. It's a new genre, these new genres coming up. And I can mention many, tutorials, right? It's a big one. How to get dressed on your first school day, how to get dressed on your first date, 
on your first job interviews. There's all these weird things coming up that have their audience globally and therefore mass at scale and super engaging. I'll show you a category that some of you wouldn't even have heard about a few years ago that because everything we do is pretty data driven, we saw two, three years ago as a very high trending category, unpacking. Have you heard about unpacking? And the interesting thing, unpacking happens from the preschoolers who watch videos of unpacking of Hello Kitty or toys. And you also see young teenager girls looking at unpacking of super cool clothes taking from the high street or designers. Or you see specialist boys interested in trainers seeing other cool boys unpacking special edition of trainers, et cetera, et cetera. This is very, very interesting uh, category. I'm going to show you in a second an example uh, of, of, of one of these categories, or actually two of the categories. But before that, there's one other uh, point that I want to stress. Again, because it's mobile, because we, are, we have so much content we can consume all the time, because we are consuming while we sit in the tube, while we sit in a bus, while we wait for a meeting, while we wait between classes, the actual content time that is consumed is going down, 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 down. I think in our network, it's around uh, three, three and a half minutes. The average video on demand is 3.8 uh, minutes. Even on Netflix from a mobile device, it's less than 10 minutes, right? Again, if you didn't think about some of the platforms that I showed earlier, you have Wine, Snapchat, uh, etc. They're all short form expression storytelling platforms. Meaning, again, that the story needs to be adapted not only to the audience, but also to the platforms and the devices watch on. So I find that very interesting, and it's a big challenge for a lot of our creative uh, 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 to, of course, be able to tell those stories. So the stories that we used to, uh, to know, they had a build-up, right? And then you had the big uh, 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 scene in the end, or you had a few peaks and a few valleys, and then the big peak in the end. If you do that today, you lose your audience within two seconds. You cannot have any values and you cannot build up a story. It has to start on the top and constantly move up there. If not, you lose your audience. Let me engage with some of the, 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 the categories now that I talked about. This one was an event we did uh, for the Star Wars. We basically um, launched in 14 markets um, in 12 markets and 15 cities with 14 talent, we launched a global live unpacking event, the first one ever in the history uh, of, of the internet. And I'm going to show you the trailer. It was a huge success to launch the new Star Wars toys coming before the launch of the Star Wars movie. It was sponsored, of course, by Disney. Um, who, of course, had an interest in creating this category with us and launching their new toys. Tonight, the kickoff of a global unboxing extravaganza. An epic 18-hour, 15-city, 12-country event spanning the entire globe. The phenomenon of the Guerra de las Galaxias, Star Wars. The Force Friday acontece in Madrid. Today is a very important day for Star Wars fans who have christened today what? Fourth Friday. For the hundreds of new products that are going on sale tomorrow, Disney and retailers are pulling out all the stops. All the new Star Wars toys and merchandise for the new movie are coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow's what they call Force Friday. It's like nothing we've ever seen on Earth. To appeal to a younger generation of consumers, Disney is leveraging its acquisition of Maker. So, you know, a new category suddenly becomes a mainstream marketing channel, but actually we created real IP, real content in something we knew based on data that will be highly successful. It's quite beautiful the opportunity new technology and new habits are, are, are providing us. A second, uh, a second um, category that I would like to, to share with you is the mixture of humor, entertainment and music. So we are now on uh, the fifth series of walking uh, of uh, the epic uh, rap battle. Have any of you ever heard about epic rap battle? 
good, I'm happy, right? It's probably one of the breakthrough shows of short form content. Every show has at least within the first few weeks between 10 and 20 million viewers. And over time, typically they are between 50 to 70 million viewers. Every second Wednesday, I think it is, we are launching an episode. And really, it's a very simple uh, uh, phenomenon, but again, something that early on, because of mobile devices, suddenly exploded in entertainment form. Let me share one of the old episodes, but it's still one of my favorites, being uh, an old man. <laughs> Let me just step right in. I got things to invent. I'm an innovator, baby, change the world. Four to five hundred before you kiss the girl. I'm a pink, you're a nerd. I'm slick, you're cheesy. Beating you is apple too easy. I make the product that the artist chooses and the gooey that Melinda uses. I need to bring up some basic shit. Watch it in your company after you're dead. Well, jobs, you ever get prick with your second hand jeans and your turtleneck. I'll turn a hole in the middle of your pony head with your own little spin of big ball at that. Can't be, you got given up at birth. I give away your network to AIDS research. So I know you little toys and I still crush that. iPhone, iPad, iPhone, I smack. A man uses the machines you build to sit down and pay his taxes. A man uses the machines I build to listen to the Beatles while he relaxes. Well, Steve, you steal all the credit for work that other people do. Did your fat beard Wozniak write these raps for you, too? Ooh, everybody knows Windows bit off Apple. I triple the profits on a PC. All the people with the power to create use an Apple. And people with jobs use PC. You know, I bet they made this beat on an Apple. Nope, Fruity Loops, PC. You will never, ever catch a virus on an Apple. Well, you can still afford a doctor if you bought a PC. Let's talk about doctors. I've seen a few because I got a PC, but it wasn't from you. I built a legacy, son. You can never stop it. Now, excuse me while I turn heaven a profit. Fine, would be like that? Die then. The whole world loves you, but you are my friend. I'm alone now with nothing but power and time. And no one on earth you can challenge my mind. I'm a boss. I own us. Your future is my design. I'm a god. Own Xbox. Now there's no one to stop me. The world is mine. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Take a look at your history. Everything you built leads up to me. I got the power of a mind you could never be. I'll beat your ass in chess and jeopardy. I'm running C++ saying hello world. I'll beat you to you singing about a daisy girl. I'm coming out the socket. Nothing you can do can stop it. I'm on your lap and in your pocket. How you gonna shoot me down when I got the rocket? Your cortex just doesn't impress me. So go ahead, try to tell and test me. I stomp on my Mac and a PC too. I'm on Linux, bitch. I thought you could knew. My CPU's hot, but my core runs cold. Beat you in 17 lines of code. I think different from the engine of the days old. I saw the like the Terminator told ya. So um, before I open up for, for a few questions, I just want to tell you an anecdote. Um, is there any French people here? Okay, so you, oh yeah, of course, I know you, yeah. So you probably recognize this, right? Uh, I'm traveling a lot around the world, and, and when I'm picked up by a driver, you kind of get reflection of the culture uh, of, of the country you're in with the conversation or lack of conversation or, or, or whatever it is. In France, um, when I arrive, the drivers, if they speak to you, often want to discuss politics, as you probably are very familiar with. If you go to a black cab in London, they would probably talk business, right? Maybe football. Anyway, I remember coming to Paris, uh, which I do often, and the driver, he asked me, what line of business are you in? I said, oh, entertainment, internet, you know, not talking too much about it. He said, oh, do you know Epic Rap Battle? It just shows how influential some formats like this are, right? That a 28, nine-year-old driver in Paris, every second Wednesday, the first thing he does when this is launched he watches an episode, and this is the first things he think about when I said internet and entertainment. So these new formats, these new entertainers are super influential, and that's thanks to technology, thanks to mobile devices, and that's where we are. Questions, we have a few minutes left. Come on. Okay, then, thank you very much.